Are you receiving more complaints about coworkers and team members not getting along? Hi, I'm Wanda Savage Moore, President and Chief Operating Officer of JJA Consultants, and I would like to talk with you about workplace incivility. If you're having issues with workplace incivility, know that you're not the only one. The most recent Civility in America poll shows that as many as 69% of Americans identify incivility as a major problem. Civility involves treating people with dignity and respect, valuing individuals, and avoiding abrasive behaviors that intimidate, abuse, or cause emotional harm. Would it surprise you to know that civility tends to suffer more in highly diverse environments? As differences increase, civility often decreases due to lack of understanding and conscious and unconscious bias. JJA defines four levels of incivility, ranging from generally annoying offensive behaviors at level one to workplace violence at level four. I'll give you a peek at what level one looks like in the workplace. Level one incivility describes more passive, uncivil behaviors like not saying hello, please, and thank you. This may seem small, but it is a way of invalidating a person, and it eventually takes a toll on workplace relationships. Another level one behavior involves showing little or no interest in someone else's opinion or idea, not listening or retreating into one's cell phone, not acknowledging another person is a passive form of incivility, purposely not responding to emails or leaving people off of email chains keeps a person out of the loop and is often detrimental to workflow. Intentionally keeping certain people waiting is also a subtle form of incivility. If these are behaviors you've seen in your organization or you want to learn more about how we can help improve civility in your workplace, please contact Wanda Savage Moore by email or call me at 703-359-5969 to schedule an appointment. Our civility products include civility in the workplace workshops, civility bingo, diversity and inclusion workshops, unconscious bias training, and much more. If you're curious about levels two, three, and four, tune in to our next installment.